What is happening in the Gaza Strip with the Palestinian people has no parallel in other historical moments. In fact, it did exist when Hitler decided to kill the Jews. It is very funny, very funny, when I see the rich world announcing that it is stopping contributions for humanitarian relief for Palestinians. I am left wondering how big the political conscience of those people is and how big is the heart of solidarity of those people who are not seeing that in the Gaza Strip there's no war going on. It's a genocide. It's not a war between soldiers and soldiers. It's a war between a highly trained army and women and children. This uh, in the form of the book includes forming and Latin characters and Ken. April for, uh, 23. And you already see how many people have produced it. This is based on a page of testimony. Today, the president of Brazil, by comparing Israel's war in Gaza against Hamas, a genocidal terrorist organization, to the Holocaust, President Silva has disgraced the memory of six million Jews murdered by the Nazis, and he's demonized the Jewish state like the most virulent anti-Semite, he should be ashamed of himself. The release of hostages can be achieved through strong military action and tough negotiations, very tough negotiations. That uh, tough position has to involve the exertion of pressure. And the exertion of pressure is not merely on Hamas itself, but on those who can exert pressure on Hamas, beginning with Qatar. Qatar can press Hamas as no one else can. They host Hamas leaders. Hamas is dependent on them financially. And I urge you to press Qatar, to press Hamas, because we want our hostages released. We cannot leave a quarter of Hamas's terrorist battalions intact. No one would do that in the case of fighting ISIS. You wouldn't leave a quarter of ISIS intact in a defined territory. You wouldn't even think about that, and you didn't. America finished the job with its allies. We will finish the job here with our brave soldiers. And we will make sure that the civilian population has a way to get out of harm's way, to safe corridors and to safe zones. I brought today uh, a resolution before the government. I want to read it to you. 
Israel utterly rejects international diktats regarding a permanent settle settlement with the Palestinians. A settlement, if it is to be reached, will come about solely through direct negotiations between the parties without preconditions. Israel will continue to oppose unilateral recognition of a Palestinian state. Such a recognition in the wake of the October 7th massacre would be a massive and unprecedented reward to terrorism and would prevent any future peace agreement. This passed unanimously in the government today. It will pass tomorrow in the Knesset, I think with an overwhelming majority. And I hope that the conference can consider adopting this statement as well. This will send a message of unity, unity inside Israel, unity outside Israel, unity between us. Israel is united as never before. The army is united as never before. The public is united as never before. And we are united, and we are united with you for one thing, total victory. Total victory will give us security. Total victory will give us peace and an expansion of the peace with our Arab neighbors. And total victory will ensure our future. Thank you, friends. Thank you, the Conference of Presidents. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister, for joining us tonight.